Which types of energies do you see here? Let's look at the flow of energy for this pole vaulter, which includes kinetic energy of motion, stored elastic potential energy, stored gravitational potential energy, back to kinetic energy, and when hitting the mat, stored elastic potential energy. Here are some calculations for a vaulter who starts with a super fast speed of 9.8 meters per second and has a mass of 75 kilograms. Press pause to make the following calculations. Please state the equation in symbols, substitute each number, and verify the given answer. Question 1. Please calculate the kinetic energy of motion. K equals one half mv squared and verify that we get 3600 joules. This is the kinetic energy of motion that the vaulter had while running on flat ground. That kinetic energy of motion is converted into elastic energy. The manufacturer says that the elastic material returns 95% of the energy that you store in it. The other 5% heats the material a little bit. Question 2. Verify that 95% of 3600 joules is 3400 joules. Question 3. 3400 joules can increase the height of the center of mass of the person by distance delta H. For the runner, the increase in stored gravitational potential energy is mg delta h equals 3400 joules. Verify that delta h equals 4.6 meters. Remember that the mass is 75 kilograms. Since the center of mass of the person begins 1 meter above the ground, the total height reached is 5.6 meters. At the highest point in the path, the person's velocity is about zero, so the energy is entirely stored gravitational potential energy, which is still 3,400 joules. As the person falls back to the ground, 3,400 joules of gravitational energy is converted back into kinetic energy of motion. Question 4. Please verify that 1 half mv squared equal 3,400 joules gives v equals 9.5 meters per second. The person stops in one half meter when he compresses the springy cushion, whose spring constant is little k. The stored elastic potential energy is one half kx squared equal 3400 joules. Please verify that the spring constant of the cushion is little k equals 27,000 newtons per meter. The person did mechanical work in pushing his feet against the ground as he ran. This work produced 3,600 joules of kinetic energy. He also pushed his feet against the ground as he began the upward motion, and then he pushed downward with his arms against the pole as he rose. Rotational kinetic energy occurs as the pole rotates about its lower end. We will learn about this next month. But wait, where did the person get the energy that became 3,600 joules of kinetic energy? Before he began running, he ate some peas for breakfast. How many bowls full of peas do you think you would have to eat to get 3,600 joules of kinetic energy? The energy to run came from the man's food. The chemical energy content of peas is 1 big C calorie per gram equals 4,187 joules per gram. But only 10% of the energy within the peas becomes useful muscle motion. 
Synthesizing glucose to build ATP molecules is 30% efficient, and when recouping energy from ATP, only 30% of that becomes useful muscle motion. Overall, this is 0.3 times 0.3 equals 10% efficient. Question 6. What is the mass, big M, of peas that had to be eaten to provide 3,600 joules of kinetic energy? Since the overall process is 10% efficient, the person ate enough peas to get 36,000 joules of energy, of which 3,600 joules was converted into kinetic energy of motion. Please solve for the mass, big M, in the following equation. We have 36,000 joules equals 4187 joules per calorie times one calorie per gram times the mass big M. We find that 8.7 grams of peas, which is one spoonful, had to be eaten. Stored chemical energies are much greater than mechanical energies of motion. That's why we are able to be animals and walk around looking for food. Tomorrow we will calculate that one ounce of food eaten by a cat enables the cat to walk 25 kilometers in search of another ounce of food. Question 7. Where did the energy within the peas come from? The peas obtain their energy from sunlight, but only 10% of the received sunlight is converted to chemical energy stored in the material of the pea. So the peas received 360,000 joules of sunlight energy, which it converted into 36,000 joules of chemical energy. Question 8. Where did the sunlight energy come from? Sunlight results from the fusion of four hydrogen nuclei into helium nuclei, whose mass is less than that of the four hydrogen. Einstein explained that mass is another way to store energy in the form E equals mc squared, where c equal 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second is the speed of light. In the fusion process, the lost mass is converted into energy, releasing 10 to the minus 6 joules per hydrogen nuclei. Some of this emitted energy occurs in the form of visible sunlight. About 3.6 times 10 to the 11th hydrogen atoms must be fused to provide as much energy as 360,000 joules received by the peas. How much energy is stored in your mass? Please calculate E equals mc squared, where m is your mass in kilograms. Nuclear energies are 1 million times greater than chemical energies. A nuclear-powered electrical generating plant supplies the energy used by one million homes, and it gets this energy from a beach ball-sized amount of uranium. Where did the hydrogen atoms get their mass energy from? The Big Bang. We've already learned that the energy of the universe is about 10 to the 68 joules. That was the amount of energy at the moment of the Big Bang and that is still the amount of energy today. This total energy does not change. It is continually transforming from one form to another, including light, heat, sound, chemical, motion, and mass energy. Biology, chemistry, and physics involve little besides the flow of energy. Our sun has a humongous mass of 10 to the 30 kilograms. If you sat at the center of the sun, then you would be crushed by the weight of all the material above you. Hydrogen nuclei at the center of the sun are crushed together, causing their fusion. Where did the energy of the Big Bang come from? This question is left for you to figure out during your career as a scientist. Please figure it out this weekend because the world is anxiously waiting for the answer. As the material of the Big Bang expanded, it also cooled. Measurements in today's particle accelerators produce as much energy in a tiny amount of matter as had occurred about 10 to the minus 43 seconds after the Big Bang. 
The universe did not expand and cool very much in its first 10 to the minus 43 seconds. Physicists understand nature up to an energy density that is very close to that of the Big Bang. But new properties of nature will be revealed as measurements come even closer. You'll have a fun career figuring out new aspects of nature. Efficiency is defined to be output energy divided by input energy. Some efficiencies include the following. Fluorescent lamp converts electrical energy to light energy with a 20% efficiency. Car engines convert chemical to heat and thermal energy and then to mechanical energy. Steam engines convert thermal energy to mechanical. Home oil furnaces convert chemical energy to thermal. Electrical generators convert mechanical energy to electrical. Plant life converts sunlight to chemical energy.